Hey, Uncle from Tactical Gamer here again. We're talking about editing tactical battlefield missions. And uh, in the last tutorial, the first one was 12 minutes. Sorry about that. This one should be a little shorter. We're going to take the uh, Pyrgios fight mission that we created last time. And we're going to add a few more of these neutral zones in the middle. It's simple. What I'm going to start off with is by uh, assuming I'm going to have zone 4 and zone 5 over here and just rename my other ones to keep it simpler. So this was going to be zone 6 now. And put a flag 6 on it. And then go back to my op for base, which I did think I skipped this little detail here before, but obviously it's going to be the last zone, which is now going to be zone 7. And find the middle of the marker. It's always difficult to find. So I think the marker is somewhere in the middle of this mess. There it is. Zone 7. I should move that so I can move it easier later. However, okay. So now I need to add a zone uh, four and five again. So simply enough I could just copy this. I selected those objects, put a cursor over one of them, press control C, and I'm going to paste. And paste. Simply rename these ones now. So that's going to be zone four. The flag for it did I not get a flag? Oh, I did. There you are. That's going to be zone one, flag four. I wonder what that would be like. Hmm, that's an interesting little spot, isn't it? We'll see how that plays out. And this will be zone five. And flag five. It's just too easy. Okay, I was talking about the last time is moving this zone up into this uh, area over here. I think I actually edited that part of the video out, but maybe I didn't. Anywho, there they go. And something interesting for this group over here. I, I don't want that that close to that base. I want to make them kind of zigzag. So I'm going to make them go here, then here. Then here, then there. Ah, here, there, there. Okay. So apartment buildings. Interesting. Okay. We'll do something like that. Okay. So now I've got those zones. Okay. Now I need to add in um, a zone, a new zone four and a new zone five. Rename the zones in that used to be 4 or 5 to be 6 and 7. And to do that, we're going to edit the zone list.hpp file. So I'm going to hit save here. And let's go to our text editor. And going to open up zone list.hpp in my notepad. All right, we've got our zone 4 and 5, which I'm going to need to rename to be zone 6 and 7. Um, and then I'll get to those relationships later. For now, I'm just going to copy zone 3 because that was the neutral one. It's going to be the easiest for me to deal with. There we go. All the relationships from 1, 2 to 3 are not going to change. Uh, so now this is going to be now zone 4. Zone 4 is going to connect back to Zone 3 and to Zone 5. And we're going to call that one Charlie. And Zone 5 is going to be neutral. No one will ever spawn there. We're going to add, it's going to be connected to Zone 4 and Zone 6. Uh, and we will call it Delta. 
Zone 6 was going to be initially owned by Team Red, it is going to connect to Zone 5 and Zone 7, and it is going to be called uh, Echo. I can remove this comment. It has nothing to do with it, and Zone 7 is going to be connected to Zone 6 and the variable is going to fill in its name to be uh, op or base or something like that. Okay, that's the simplest way to create a very linear mission where each of the zones is only connected to the next one, its progression, or the one that was preceding it. Save that, and there we go. Uh, back to our mission editor. Alright, so we're in our mission editor. We're simply going to preview this mission. See how it looks. You have to have office and this. Just for an, an example of showing a relationship. Um, maybe it's not very playable, but we'll link the, the center to we'll link the office and what would be Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. So Charlie and Delta, we're going to link means you could go from here and capture either one of these before you would move on. You have to capture both of them before you can move on to here though. Um, so they'll show a red line between them. Now, uh, the other thing I want to do is add a forward base for Blue 4. Um, and let's say move their base actually quite a bit back. So I could, in this sense, take a Blue 4 base and move it very far back. All right. For whatever reason I'd want. Um, because I'm going to create a zone. What would it be? What's my last? zone here, flag 7, so we're going to create a zone 8 for blue 4 to be able to deploy up here. So again, I could just copy a, an existing and paste it, uh, but I'm going to call it zone 8. I'm going to make it blue at the beginning. So I'm going to change the color of the flag, call it Zone 8, and there we go. Okay, not the editor, but into my text editor. All right, I'm going to need to add a Zone 8 in here. So I'm just copying from another zone uh, list.hpp where we had a forward base. Uh, I'm going to call it Zone 8, make it Team Blue to spawn instant. It's not linked. It's not going to depend on anything. Um, and so I'm going to make it zero there. And, and another lesson I can get into what those mean. Um, but we were going to make a dependency between what was it? Um, the office, which was okay. So made some changes. Um, basically, uh, from Zone 3, you should be able to get back to Zone 2, so Op 4 can push back towards Blue 4. Uh, you should be able to push to either two points, to 4 or 5. Alright, so Zone 4 has to be able to go back to Zone 3, alright, or be able to go to Zone 5, and then push on to uh, Zone 6. Zone 5, pretty much the same thing has to be able to go back to 3, has to go be able to forward to 6, and is connected to Zone 4. So we've set up the relationships between Zone 4 and 5. They're, they're sunk. So Zone 4 is connected to Zone 5. Zone 5 is connected to Zone 4. You must have them both in order to progress either to 6 or to 3, depending on which team is going which direction. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that you can move forward from the Blue 4 base. You could deploy at the forward base, which is spawnable, and it lets you know by that texture, that dotted texture. Um, then you could move to Bravo. From there, you have the choice to go to Charlie or Delta. You would have to capture both of them before you could move on to Echo, and then you would win. Uh, the other way, uh, Op 4 has to capture Delta and Charlie immediately. They have to capture and own both of them in order to get Bravo. Then they could push to Alpha. So obviously this mission is a bit unbalanced. I would need 
one more point beyond echo uh, to balance it out if I wanted to be uh, to the letter uh, zones or else I could give up for some as, um, extra defensive capabilities here at echo um, give them a nice well fortified position to defend maybe something like that and that would maybe balance out the fact that uh, they would have to capture two points uh, Bravo and Alpha whereas Blue 4 only has to capture the one at the end of the mission after the two that are linked. Okay, so there you go. That's how you add zones and then create some more complex relationships for tactical battlefield missions.